Welcome. In this lecture, I want to focus in on a particular mathematical object that not only shows up kind of early on and fundamentally when we're talking about the areas controlled by players. There are much more sophisticated notions now, but this is an, a nice first approximation. But I've seen it show up in everything from talking about um, voting districts to um, distribution of hospitals to any of these kinds of things. Uh, so it's a very important concept, but also very fundamental uh, in how one starts to visualize soccer. So this is, it's going to be called the Vernoy diagram. So let's get started. Okay, so the question is, or kind of the goal is going to be kind of a first approximation of the area controlled by a player. So um, a first approximation of the area controlled by a soccer player. And then kind of by combining the areas you could get for an entire team. Okay, so this is kind of our aim. Um, and then the answer is going to be Voronoi diagrams. So we'll dive right into what those are. Okay, so technically, kind of speaking, what you want to do is you want to take, and I'll draw the picture, and hopefully this will help a little bit. Okay, so you're going to have an input. And you can think of these as kind of a, a set or collection of points. Like this in R2, okay, so these, so each one of these is going to be a location, so maybe I'll, I'll make these actually some color so that we can kind of refer back to these, uh, these are like our locations, okay, of players, so this set of points like these, and these are locations of players. Right, because I'm saying fancy things like R2, but really what I mean is, so R2 just means the plane. I've talked about that. Um, but what we want to look at is you just want to think, you could just think of these as players on the field. Uh, so I would have some kind of point here maybe, and some kind of point here. Right, so when I'm writing up to K here, this is just an index, so don't get kind of nervous about that. This is just means maybe this is P1, P2, P3. So I have P1 and then P2 is kind of hidden in the dots and then P3 would be PK. Or maybe I have P1, P2, P3, P4 because I'm looking at four players. Um, and then P1, P2, and P3 are hidden in the dots and then the final one PK is P4. Okay, so uh, and that's actually going to be this what we're going to draw here. So we'll do this for right here. And then I, I made a video at some point with some uh, students at, at, at Queens where we actually kind of go through how one would go about constructing this or drawing this. Um, but uh, then the, the next part is going to be we're going to look at these kind of regions they're controlled by. Okay, so you can imagine these as little soccer players sitting there or standing there on on the field instead of the playing R2. Okay, um, and so then my output. Right, and so we don't get kind of overwhelmed by notation, but it's good to also give the notation so that when somebody describes it that way, you're like, oh, wait, 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 I know what you're talking about, okay? Um, so you'll see it here, but you'll see in the picture kind of what I mean. Um, so the output is going to be, um, we're going to get, so the Voronoi region Okay, um, DJ is going to be all the points. So the, again, this is an index. So for P1, I'm going to have a region D1. For P2, I'll have a region D2, and so on. So the point really is that for each of these, I have a matching one. So this is why I wrote the index there, so you can kind of match them. Okay, is all points in R2, or in your soccer field. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to want to match this. So this is DJ. So this is the region for PJ. So you could think of it maybe D4 is a region for P4. 
So I want to say that they're closer to PJ, or uh, this is D4, P4, um, than to any other one of these points, okay? So in R2, uh, closer to... PJ than than to okay any other PI so any other player so we're looking at all points on the field that are closer to the player PJ than to it, any other player PI Again, this is an index, it just means we're talking about any of them, okay? Um, and so the area controlled by player PJ, so it's the area controlled by the player PJ Disregarding speed and orientation. So let's actually kind of draw these. Okay, so as I said, there are more sophisticated notions, and so you will need to, um, if you actually want to know, like you, like, in reality, you might want to take into consideration the direction a player is running, right? The way that they're faced, things like this. They will actually impact, um, as well as their maximum speed. All these things will impact their actual region that they control, and there are models that actually take that into consideration. But um, we're just doing kind of a first approximation, okay? So more or less, I'm going to have, so the region controlled by P1 is probably a little bit like this. Okay, so this is going to be D1, this region here. Why is it D1? Because no matter what point I take in here, right, if I take a point there, then this one, this point is going to be closest to P1, right? It's not closest to P2, it's not closest to P3, those are all further away. Okay, so for example, if the ball was there, P1 would get there faster, that player P1 would get there faster than the player P2, or the player P3, or the player P4. Okay, now, uh, for P2, then I have another region here. I think it's going to go kind of like that. So this would be, so this would be the region for P2, so I'd write D2, right? And now for any point in this region over here, for you have this a ball, right? This is, again, so this is closest to P2. So closest to P2, right? Or P2 is the closest player to that point, okay? I have another region for, I have more colors here. Okay, so this is D3. This is the region for player three. I'm going to take D4. I'm going to kind of do it like this so that you can tell that I'm not the same region as that one. Okay, so what's going on here? This is a very kind of first fundamental kind of notion um, for approximating like the area controlled by players. Uh, so we start out with a list of players. We represent them by P1 up to PK. So that's just how many players there are. Some of them are kind of hidden in the dots. Um, and those points, you can see them as kind of points in the Euclidean plane. Um, and then the Voronoi region, we get a Voronoi region for each player or each uh, point. Um, and that's the region of all the points that are closer to that player than to anywhere else. So you can think of all the points that if that was the ball, this player is going to get there first. Okay, so... I hope that made some sense, and I will see you in the next lecture.